Well, we continue our Hearing Health Awareness series today by taking a look at how technology is bridging the telecommunications gap for the hard of hearing and deaf. Joining the Balancing Act this morning, Mike Ellis and Mary Beth Mothersell with Sprint Relay. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. And also with us this morning, we have Susan Thompson Gaines, who is interpreting the conversation for both Mike and Mary Beth because they are both deaf. Good morning and welcome to everybody on the show today. So I want to start off with you guys because both of you all work for Sprint. You keep very busy schedules, lead a very active lifestyle in the communications industry. Can you give us some real life examples of how technology in the telecommunications business has helped you? Sure, I am happy to share some stories with you. You're definitely right. We have busy schedules. I'm on the road a lot. I have a wife and three children, and it's very important to me that I stay in touch with them when I'm on the road. I have a hearing loss, so I can understand all the time what people are saying on a traditional telephone. This technology lets me use video relay service, which is visual communication. I can tell you an example of that. Last night, I called both of my daughters. They're on spring break in Hawaii. I used Sprint Mobile VRS to call them and see what they were doing. I could see, <laughs> yeah. are you on the beach? Are you into any trouble? <laughs> Once I was done talking with them, I called my wife and my son. They live in Denver, Colorado, and neither of them are deaf. And I could speak with them through an interpreter on video, and it was great. That's wonderful. And for you, I'm sure this is something that has helped you tremendously as well. Yes, it has. I really love mobile technology. It empowers me. I'm able to communicate with my children via text as well. Ah. And I think that in today's culture, it really helps to empower deaf and hard of hearing people and gives them more functional equivalency, so it's really great. I'm laughing because you can communicate by text, you can communicate by phone, they can't escape. <laughs> you keep You're your right. eyes on your kids at all times. That That's is right. wonderful. All right, here's the other thing though. I mean, there's so many mobile devices out there. Um, so it seems that being deaf or hard of hearing becomes less of an obstacle these days, right? That's very true. This is a great time to be deaf or hard of hearing in America. We have so many devices available, better network coverage, for example, 4G coverage, mm -hmm. and so many apps. There are 150,000 different apps available. It's amazing. Well, let's talk a little bit more about those apps um, available in the Android marketplace. It, because you talked about 150,000, because that seems like it could be a little bit overwhelming at times. What are some examples of apps and how they could benefit the hard of hearing or the deaf? Like I mentioned before, Sprint Mobile Video Relay Service really helps me. I can use my native language, which is American Sign Language, to communicate. Would you like to see how it works? I would love to see how it works, absolutely. All right. All I do is have a device with a forward-facing camera and download the Sprint Mobile VRS app. Mm -hmm. One simple tap. Now you'll see an interpreter will come on my screen. Right, I see the interpreter there, yes. Now I can use sign language and communicate. It's really nice and I can call anyone I'd like. I think that is amazing technology. That's great. Mary Beth, let me ask you then, we talked about a lot of the apps that are out there and a lot of them are very popular. How do we know which apps are the most popular or, or would be the best choice then for someone who is hard of hearing? We have a wonderful new tool. It's called the Sprint Relay ID Pack. If a person has an Android phone, all they do is tap and download that Sprint Relay ID Pack. It contains several different apps and links to products that are beneficial for deaf and hard of hearing people. It really, again, helps empower those users mm -hmm. and helps them to use their Android phone even better. And empowerment is so important. Thank you both so much for coming by and sharing this with us this morning on the show. Our pleasure, thank you. And you taught me how to say thank you, so thank you. I appreciate it. And to find out more, simply go to the website, SprintRelay.com. A portion of today's show is brought to you by Sprint Relay.